Just know you're not alone Cause I'm gonna make this place your did you know that some of the houses in Gray's Lake were moved from other parts of Illinois? When asked this question via Twitter poll, 93% of people answered no. To fully understand why and how these houses were moved, however, people must also understand the basic history and upbringing of Gray's Lake. Gray's Lake was founded as a farm town on May 9, 1885, with an initial population of approximately 325 people. As these people settled into what would become a town of over 21,000 citizens, they began to create their businesses and lives. The Village of Grace Lake website documents businesses such as a general store, a hardware store, a bank, two hotels, one resort, a pharmacy, dentist, and furniture store. To top off the thriving town, a new rail line was added in 1899. People from other parts of the state began to feel the need to move closer to the small town in which success was reaching its peak. Likely due to this quick success, and according to Grays Lake Historical Society member Charlotte Renahan, between 1900 and 1950, 20 houses were moved to Grays Lake by families and homeowners. People liked the idea of recycling houses, moving them from one place to another rather than selling and demolishing them. They often chose to move the house that they already owned to the town of their choice, and in these cases, that town was Gray's Lake. The tactic proved cheaper than having to buy or rent a new house, and it allowed the sentiment that comes with a home to continue in the hearts of homeowners. So, with these homeowners' consent, Companies could purchase the property on which the houses were built and then sell them for a low price so they could be moved. Moving houses was a common thing to do at the time, and once a permit was obtained, hiring a company to move the house was fairly simple. The houses were moved from places like Haynesville and Gages Lake in about a day, put on oversized car jacks, and then put onto low boys, which were large platforms with wheels that made the houses easier to move. Initially, houses were pulled by dozens of horses that walked in rows, but once the technology was available, companies decided to use trucks for transport instead. One of the houses that was moved from Gages Lake to Grays Lake was brought by the family that owns Sears. They wanted to move the house toward the end of winter and decided that the fastest way to do this was by going across the frozen lake. It was a warmer day, however, and as they were moving the house across the ice, the ice started to melt under it. After some adjustments to their schedule and speed, they ended up getting the house to Grays Lake safely. Like many houses that were moved at the time, once in place, it took roughly a week to install. Though the extra time was not included in the week it took to install the newly placed houses, people often chose to renovate as well, adding things like garages and basements. These additions took longer to finish than the allotted time by moving companies. Originally, the houses were kept in what is now the Dollar General lot in downtown Grays Lake when they were brought here. One of the potential mayors around this time wanted to give each home a plaque, memorializing it as one of the official homes in the Grays Lake Heritage neighborhood. Seeing that he did not win the election, however, the houses failed to receive the official recognition that he desired. Recognized or not, more homes continued to be moved to Grays Lake. Eventually, the Dollar General property became too small to hold all of them, and they had to be moved once again to a larger space. The homes in the Heritage neighborhood now stand in front of the Grays Lake Central High School, going back a few blocks. Cause I'm gonna make this place your home.